who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up hood folks this is jeremy so if you just seen the last video that we put up it was a vlog and the vlog was it is so fat that cat is fat that wood is fat <laughs> but now on that video i went to the grocery store and i bought some ingredients to make a unchicken spaghetti chickenless spaghetti now i need to stop scrolling down instagram because every time i scroll down instagram i see something that i like oh i want that if i could have my way we would give up meat all together but that's neither here nor there so i'm gonna make a chickenless spaghetti so chicken spaghetti and i'm gonna use mushrooms as my meat substitute y'all see that water back there I'm gonna be using whole, these are some, y'all remember on Fred Sanford, when uh, Fred Sanford told uh, Aunt Esther, here, put this plastic over your face. What this make? Gorilla cookies. <laughs> but I'm gonna use whole wheat pasta, whole wheat spaghetti. I fucking hate angel hair spaghetti i hate angel hair but this is whole whole wheat spaghetti so this is gonna be a healthier recipe let's see what we can do with it y'all let's see what we can do with it all right so i'm gonna put my noodles in the water and let them get to boiling and we're gonna work on these mushrooms all right folks so i'm gonna be using white mushrooms these are white mushrooms these have a milder taste i don't want you know the real strong mushroom taste i like mushrooms but not that much now mushrooms you can't put them in water they tell you not to submerge them in water to wipe them off with a damp paper towel but y'all look i can't get down like that now if this recipe comes out fucked up then i can admit to you right now that i should have just wiped them off with a paper towel you don't got to get in the comment oh no that's the wrong i'm already telling you i'm going against the grain okay <laughs> So I got some white mushrooms. This is a eight ounces. So I'm taking my mushrooms. So I'm taking my mushrooms and I'm cutting them in half. Like that. Well. I don't want to cut them too thin. I'm going to cut them in half. I just cut them in half. And they look so dirty. They feel dirty. They feel nasty. And like I said, look at that's too soggy. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them in half. Like that. Can y'all see that? Just cut them in half. When I do videos by myself, it's kind of hard. I be needing my partner with me. The other person in the intro, you know, the other person. The one that be working too much. Working so much that we still ain't a millionaire. Ain't that some shit? I think he doing something. <laughs> All right, so this is what I'm gonna do differently. These are a little thicker. I'm going to cut that a little. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take my mushrooms. And I'm going to have to rinse them off. Look at, look at that. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Look at that. Can y'all see that boy? Can y'all see that boy? All right, y'all. So I, what, I rinsed them off. And they are. They do feel a little more soggier than last time before I wash them all. But this is what I'm gonna do next. I have a salad, a lettuce spinner. This is what I put my salads in, with my lettuce in when I'm cooking. And I'm just gonna take them and put them in there. You know, but I take my lettuce and I put it here when I wash it off. And I'm gonna give them a spin. Yeah. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> I'm fucking up. There we go. Let's see how it works with this spin. I'm going to spin them kind of slow because I don't want them to break. Like I said, I'm going to spin. 
Не спины двое. It did get a good bit of water though. They do feel wet. Let's do it again. But yeah, this is the reason I don't like eating mushrooms because I, I'm pretty sure they do it when they be in a restaurant and stuff. They don't wash them all like this. They just propagate them straight out of the ground. I'm having them dirty as hell. <laughs> Take a paper towel and just give them a little wipe off like this. And another reason I don't think these are gonna be as bad because I'm gonna eat these in a in the dish. It's not like I'm just gonna put these on top of something. They're gonna put in the they're gonna be put inside of the dish, acting as chicken. All right. Damn that towel. Ooh, can y'all see how dirty that is? That is dirty as hell. Bro, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. All right, all right. In my pan, I'm gonna put some olive oil in here, and I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, like a half a teaspoon of butter. This is unsalted butter too. And get it around, stir around. Mmm, that smells good. Like we're gonna make popcorn. All right. So I'm gonna put my mushrooms in here. And I'm gonna let them do their thing. Here we go, hood folks, about eight minutes later. And I let my... I'm finna call them bell peppers. Mushrooms saute down. You see this pretty much a little bit, just how I like it, a little bit. Now I'm gonna do some seasoning, and I want these to resemble chicken, so I'm gonna do some chicken bouillon. And get it a stir. And you don't wanna season your uh, mushrooms till after they're cooked. Now I know that for a fact. They look good, don't they? Don't y'all think they look good? Don't they look good? <laughs> All right, folks, so to this, to this, I'm gonna add my pasta, my whole wheat pasta, and then, and then I'm gonna add my mushrooms. They really are good. Like, they are really good, for real. Like, good, 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 good. All right, let's add some seasoning, a little garlic powder, salt-free, onion powder, salt-free, <clears throat> Garlic and herbs, salt free. A little oregano, salt free. A little basil, salt free. All right, I'm gonna add my rotea. A can of rotea. I'm not gonna drain the juice off because I like my pasta and food wet. I don't like dry food. Dry food is not good to me. And I got some uh, caramel soup. And this right here is loaded with sodium. This got 790 milligrams of sodium per serving. So it's like 1500 milligrams of sodium. So, sodium. so this is real salty. I got cream of chicken with herbs. Extra more flavor. I'm gonna get them cones. The man already got his, and I got to get mine too. All right, this smells real good. Damn, this smells good. This is my first time cooking with this. Cause most times I always cook with the salt-free kind. Get it a stir. Ooh, y'all, this smells good. This smells good. I hope they're good. I hope they're good. I hope this is good. Can y'all see it there? I hope this is good. All right, all right. So we need a little bit more cream. Let's just do a little bit of sour cream, and let's do a little bit of milk. Just to get that creamy flavor, that creamy vibe. Let's stir it up. 
Y'all, that is looking real good. Now, for a little bit more saltiness, I'm gonna do a little bit more chicken bouillon. Cause it wasn't salty. Ironic, I tasted a little bit, it wasn't salty. But I don't want it too salty. But I want it flavor. And then you know all that cheese is gonna be loaded with a lot of salt too. So my cheese, I'm doing medium, medium cheddar. I don't know how much I'm pouring, I'm just gonna pour it in here like a big motherfucker. <laughs> On top of that, I'm gonna add a little piece of blend, which is like a tag blend. Piece of blend is mozzarella, provolone, and parmesan, and romano. Alright, and get out of there. Alright, chicken, let's. Bugatus. All right, so I got my grease in the pan. Oh, one more thing. Shit. A little bit of butter. Just a little bit of butter. Like a tablespoon of butter. That's all. Just a little bit. And that's salt-free butter. I think, y'all, since I'm giving up or uh, eating, let me get over here. Since I think I'm giving up canola oil too, canola oil, vegetable oil, all that. My light butter, y'all know my light butter I love to eat with. Light butter is made out of canola oil. And I've been reading that like canola oil, vegetable oil, all that stuff make your joints hurt, you know, cause inflammation. So I've been giving up, I'm giving up that, giving up that as well. Now, you don't gotta give it up. You can do what the fuck you wanna do. <laughs> At your house. Let me go this way. I be forgetting y'all, y'all not in here. I'm gonna spread it out like that. And let's get all them corners. We gotta get them corners, get them corners. Corner, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, I think this is gonna be a success. I just gotta just slowly just convince Rashad to give up meat, or at least five days a week. We only meet like two days a week. If I can do that, I probably can deal with that then. About two days a week. All right, and on top of this, I'm just gonna spread a little bit more of my piece of blend. Just a thin layer. But I actually like the sharp layer, well, the medium sharp layer more. And this on here like this. Not too much. I don't wanna have, our ass is locked up. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so i'm gonna cover it up with some foil paper and i'm gonna put it in a 380 degree oven for about 25 minutes and then i'm gonna take the foil off and let it go about another 10 minutes all right all right y'all fresh out of the oven it's hot as hell i guess i'm gonna let it well i know not guess i'm gonna let it see here and chill for about 10 minutes Y'all see it good? <clears throat> yeah. Let's see about 10 minutes and seven. All right, y'all. So, here we go. Chickenless spaghetti. I got me a bowl. I got a bowl this time. Oh, man, it's real creamy. Y'all see that? It's real creamy. Oh man, this smells real, real good. Oh! Making that macaroni cheese sound that everybody love. <laughs> oh man, let me clean my bowl up a little bit. All right, let me get a thumbnail. All right, folks, so here we go. Let me get another thumbnail. Wait. I'm gonna do it like that. It's hard doing videos without the boy. Anyway, out. Look at Nose. Can y'all see him back there? He know him probably be around me. Anyway, 
chickenless spaghetti. It's hot. You can get one of the mushrooms too. Y'all, I hate when people do food reactions and they do all this like they do this. <clears throat> when you're in the car by yourself and ain't nobody watching, do you make them kind of reactions? Like, I don't do all that fake ass shit. But anyway, this is real good. This is not salty. It's very cheesy. It's real good. The mushrooms, don't, I don't even taste the mushrooms for real. I was thinking they're going to give me like a strong taste, but since I use white mushrooms, they're mild. This is a 10 out of 10. I can make this any day over regular chicken spaghetti. Mm. Now I'm gonna make salad to go on side. Salad, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's what I got. But I'm gonna make a salad to go on the side with a little garlic bread. And this is gonna be dinner. This is good. 10 out of 10, I will make this again, bro. And it's hot. It kind of reminds me of noodles and Roman noodles. You know how, you, you know how I do my Roman noodles? I put a little Parmesan cheese in them. It's similar to that, but it's still chicken spaghetti. Well, chickenless spaghetti. I hope so. If you make this, let me know. I'm just trying to eat a little bit healthier on certain things. Everything. I want to turn 100% meatless, but if somebody delivering the house, I love the meat. <laughs> Oh, that motherfucker Arby's. All right, like the video, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. This is good. Hey. All right, folks. So, Michelle just got home. And I'm going to let him change this spaghetti. It's cool. It's got cool a little bit. So, how I tell you, man. Mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms, man. Mm. Okay, is it good or nasty? Tell the truth. It's good, little folk. They can't hear you. It's good. Okay, it's good. real good. Flavor, salty. We're we'll talking about that real fast. It tastes like regular chicken spaghetti. It's, it's, of course, you can't taste the meat. What meat? The, the meat that you normally put in that chicken. And then the mushrooms are not bad. I don't eat mushrooms, but these mushrooms, they don't really have any flavor. So, overall, it's good. Not I like too it. Salty. Not too salty. Flavor is there. Flavor's hidden. It's busting. All right, folks. That's it.